Hey guys, it's the Goblin Gamer here. The first video I put out showed you guys how to mask out an image and apply a custom scene in OBS. The second video I put out showed you guys how to find a green screen uh, animations off of YouTube, download them, and apply them to your stream. Now I'm going to show you guys how to automatically switch transitions through your overlays, through your scenes. That way, you can make more complex videos, more complex things. Um, for example, when the guillotine comes down and it chops my head off and then it switches to another scene where half my camera's cut off. Um, this one, I'm going to be showing you how I do a, a cloud of smoke and then I disappear and then a cloud of smoke and I reappear for when maybe you need to use the bathroom or do something and you want to make like a little more creative or unique way of uh, appear disappearing and reappearing on your stream. It's just fun. It makes things more creative. Um, I really enjoy doing these things. I hope this helps you guys. Okay, you're gonna wanna go to the link that I will post in the description, but it's at obsproject.com. Download the advanced scene switcher right here. Copy the DLL file. into your plugins. Restart your OBS. Once you have your advanced scene switcher installed, have your main scene here, you can um, create a new scene, uh, smoke, poof, all right, we'll place a scene in there. Place our main scene with our main. The reason that I place a scene in there instead of just straight to my camera source is that uh, you can use that scene for everything and it's seamless. So that way, when you create a new scene, you can place that scene in and your camera will be in the exact same spot and you won't have to like copy, transform your position and rotation and all that to match all your other scenes. So once you have that in there, you can add media source. Poof, smoke. Uh, we will go in. Add the smoke first. All right. We're going to go to filters. Add the chroma key. I'm going to... Uh, Go ahead and make this loop for now just so that I can see where it is and position it correctly. Make it a little bigger. I think that's pretty good. I am going to adjust the chroma key a little bit uh spill reduction increase smoothness increase that's much better i get that gets rid of the green halo on there maybe increase the similarity a little bit nice that makes it pretty nice and clean Then on my main scene too, I think I'm actually going to make my webcam a little smaller. See, that way, if you if you change the webcam and make it a little smaller, and you go over to your poof scene, it affects that scene too. So let's say you've done all these different overlays, all these effects that you've put tons of time in. Uh, if you're anything like me, you've got like 50 different scenes. And maybe you've decided, hey, my camera's too big, or I want to change this, or I want to change that. It'll just change it on every one of your scenes by having it as a placeable scene instead of just dropping your camera straight into each scene. So now that we've got that in there, 
I'm going to duplicate it. And turn off the camera. I'm going to turn off the loop. Turn off the loop on both. Okay. That's good. All right. So you've got your main scene. And what we're going to have it do is whenever you flip over to this scene, it's going to automatically flip to this scene after some time. So you, you look at it and you kind of gauge how long you need. So maybe like two seconds. So we'll go into advanced scene switcher. Go to scene sequence. Go to smoke poof. Smoke poof 2, 1.5 seconds. Save round trips. Uh, no, just hit the plus button. Once you, once you have a bunch of things on here, you can back it up down here. Uh, another tip is right here, advanced scene switcher is active. So when you want to go in and edit your scenes, be sure to hit this stop button. That way, everything does quit switching around on you when you're trying to like make edits to your sources. And then when you're ready to go again, you start it back up. But now that we've added it, so we're at our main scene. Maybe you need to uh, use the bathroom, grab a drink, whatever. So, you know, you hit a little button on your, uh, your stream deck or your keyboard. And poof, you disappear. Now, we're going to make the reverse of this as well. So we will duplicate this scene. Smoke poof return. Duplicate it to return to with the camera on under advanced scene switcher. Exact same thing. Go in here. Smoke poof return. Smoke poof. Return to 1.5 seconds. And don't forget to hit the plus sign to actually add it down here. So, okay. So I duplicated smoke poof, return, return to, which it isn't going to play the video because it's already played. So the problem is if I go to smoke poof, boom, it'll transition over to here on its own. I have it turned off right now. But when it goes to here, it won't play the smoke again because it's already played. So we need to add it as a different media source. Uh, poof, smoke, return. And we'll link it to that same file. So let me go over here. Go to transform. Copy transform on the original. And transform, paste, transform. So it's in the exact same spot. So we also can go over here and copy filters. Go over here, paste filters. All right. That way you have all of the same items there. So we will add the same one here. and paste transform. Okay, so you're at your main scene. Smoke poof. Oh. So reactivate your advanced scene switcher. You're at your main scene. Disappear. Transitions over. Then when you want to come back, you reappear. And that's it. Hey guys, thanks again for watching one of my tutorials. If you really like the video, please like and subscribe. If you really, really like the video, then maybe come by and tell me what you think about it or how it helped you on my Twitch page when I stream. I stream Wednesdays through Sundays in the evenings Central Time, so I hope to see you there.